They don't want to see me rise No They just want to see me fall When I be giving my all I'm just going to do it my way Everybody, this is Mwadib bringing you a video uh, on uh, another little tool I made uh, to kind of help you with your gen add-ons, uh, make things a little bit easier. Uh, made it myself uh, as I was working on uh, Oregon Trail add-on, um, was going through different playlists and everything on YouTube, and discovered there was a lot of the private videos or deleted videos and all, a lot of playlists that had been made for content, and then was the videos had been removed so they were empty um, kind of made a mess of things so to speak so I decided to build the XMLs for the videos directly um, just because you know I, I don't know if they're going to be adding more content to them or not I guess I could keep an eye on them uh, if I wanted but uh, you know I like things being in the XMLs you know me uh, having the XMLs local and then having everything in them rather than pointing to an online source for me speeds things up um, makes it a little bit better for the end user you know it, your thought process may be different you may want to keep them online uh, to pull that fresh content completely up to you but uh, at any rate I've made a nice little script here uh, on my tools and parsers git um, code the uh, related Python scripts and gen generators uh, this one here uh, is the, let me find it here, Channel Video Lister. Alright, and what this one does is it actually, uh, you put in, uh, I guess you could use mine, uh, prefer you get your own though, YouTube API key, uh, right here. I just use this for my tools, so uh, it doesn't get a lot of use. Um, and then uh, you go down through here you know where it says change me you can change it um, only a few places you would need to but uh, what you do is you put in the channel ID here of the uh, channel that you want to pull all the videos for don't care about the playlist you just want to pull the videos all right uh, and the purpose of this is it gets you the thumbnails for the video uh, it gets you the direct link for the video. It gets you the uh, excerpt uh, description for the video. All right. Uh, so it pulls all that for you. So you put in your channel ID there, and then you run it. You're done. Uh, connects to uh, the YouTube API, uh, and then it goes through and it pulls all of just the videos. If you see here, if not video item type of YouTube video, it ignores it and goes on. Um, it only pulls it for those uh, goes through and tries to clean up the titles as much as possible and then uh, it'll go through and uh, replace anything it can't fix <clears throat> there at the end uh, so and it does add uh, because a lot of YouTube content has weird characters in it uh, weird Unicode weird uh, escape characters and everything that can't get cleaned out I've ran across it in different ones so that's why I put this line right here it'll just remove them uh, so you know you always want to double check it if you get a chance uh, as far as the output and title alright uh, as I said it does pull the description it puts it in meta so if you have metadata turned on in your gen add-on it will show the description from the video as or the uh, the short description as the actual uh, summary that shows off to the side there uh, generally depending on the skin like under the picture things like that uh, just like it would with a movie you know the plot it gives you that uh, ability with this uh, it does a direct link uh, Jen will convert this automatically to uh, the plugin for you and I just did it that way just because it it's was the preferred method I decided to use that way if anything else changed that should stay the same all right uh, if you include fan art at the top where it had changed me for the fan art it will include that down here for all of them uh, and it keeps cycling through till it pulls all the videos for a given channel all right so uh, we grab this here 
and pull this over here I'll show you here in action all right so I'm gonna go ahead and drop the command prompt here and video lister there I'm gonna go ahead and open the source so you can see it here on my screen uh, and notepad plus plus All right, it's always easier to read with the colors and a little bit bigger font. So, all right, I'm just going to find a YouTube channel, pick a random one here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's pull one from what I'm working on. Does that give me the ID? Yep. And go back to the panel plus plus here. Grab that channel ID, save it, and then, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to run this here, and it don't take it too long unless they've got a, a lot of videos on there, so. Alright, as you can see here, it is done. So it output it as, uh, ch -ch -ch. yeah, right here. And you can change the name of this. I'll show you where to change that in just a moment. But as you can see here, title and then summary, it pulls a summary from the video. Um, does have a link. Now, I do have a space here for those that doesn't have descriptions. It'll add a, a space to it. So it does away with the no information uh, there on the side for you. All right, as you can see here, it pulled uh, quite a few videos here from this one. A whole lot. All the way down to <clears throat> 3,041 lines here in this XML. All of them with the title. All of them that pull a description for you. All right, so it does pull quite a bit of uh, data, as you can see here. Now, if you want to change the name, the output name of the file... Um, you can just drop right down here where it's got the hashtag save file or pound save file however you want to put it you just change this part right here changes the name of it and uh, that's all there is to it uh, as I said it does output all the videos and not only the videos um, if you're familiar with the YouTube API and you want to change what it pulls out like if you want it to just pull the playlist um, you can go down here, <clears throat> you know, modify the link. Uh, just make sure that you're modifying, you know, what else it pulls up in here uh, from the JSON. All right. Um, now it does try to pull the standard thumbnail. If they do not have a standard thumbnail set up, it'll go ahead and use the default. Um, if you want to try to make it pull more of the HD ones, things like that. Just make sure that, you know, you're doing the try and accepts in order to pull them higher ones first and then always fall them back in the accept to the default. All right. Uh, that is important. You can't just do try, accept, accept, accept. You would have to do uh, separate tries. So uh, you could put in um, even checks to see, you know, if it exists and then do it. You know, it's up, completely up to you. Um, not only is it a, a tool for you to use, this is something for you to learn with too. So, um, got all that set up here, and that's pretty much it for this tool. I mean, like I said, it's short and simple. It just pulls all the videos uh, for a given uh, channel. Uh, you can set the XML file uh, down there under the, the save file section uh, to a different XML every time. And I'll put uh, different channels to different XMLs, make it a little bit easier for you. Uh, it, it's real handy for those that are older channels, they're not doing newer content, um, things like that. Now, uh, you can also use it to um, pull all the content. And then, but if there's some of it you don't want, like you've seen in that tank when there was some wrestling stuff down there at the end. Um, especially for channels that don't have playlists and they just upload everything uh, so you don't have to build a list on YouTube and then turn around and build it there um, 
and put it in your XMLs and all. You can pull all of them, clean out what you don't want, uh, and be done. All right. Uh, hopefully, simplify things a little bit for you, give you a good way to, to provide some content uh, without having to create a bunch of YouTube channels yourself and adding playlists um, to control there and everything. You know, hopefully, it does help. So, if y'all have any questions on it, you know how to get a hold of me. Uh, been uh, sick the past day or so, so uh, may take me a little bit longer to respond. Plus, I've been working uh, new add-ons, all that on top of it. You know how it goes with me. Love the work. All right, guys, y'all have a great one. Catch you in the next video. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you liked it, be sure to leave a comment down below, click like in the corner, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.